Happy Saturday, you guys. So today hasn't quite gone the way I expected it to. So I have a few videos that I wanted to film. I was hoping to get like four done today at least, but it looks like that is not happening. I got two done. So like some progress, I got two, but um, so I am a little bit of a klutz. Have you ever seen that picture of like dish draining Jenga or whatever it's called? I'll put a picture up. That is my office desk at the moment. And I needed to put my camera down so that way I could film a couple clips where I'm like sitting down at my desk. And um, seltzer water just spilled everywhere. I had a cup full of it everywhere. Luckily, like it got a little bit under my laptop, but it's okay. But it got all over the floor and it got all over my chair. So after filming two videos, I'm like, okay, that's it. I need a break. So I'm just going to vlog today. Like that is the universe telling me, put it down, relax, take a breath calm down, make a chill Saturday vlog for you guys so you can kind of see what it's like for me. Mark is not home right now. He's out for a little bit longer and I am probably just going to do a really casual like chit chat vlog with you guys. So I just went and got coffee at 7-Eleven. I will catch you up on Hawaii and all of the plans for that. We are so excited. Um, but I'm gonna do a quick little 20 minute stretch routine. I used weights yesterday, so I'm really feeling it, especially in my thighs and my triceps after doing a couple of the weighted exercises yesterday. So I'm gonna take it really easy, do a 20 minute stretch routine. I'll link the video that I normally use for you guys down below if you're interested. It's a very easy going relaxing full body stretch 20 minutes almost anyone could do it I always feel a little bit better after doing like a stretch or an exercise or something it feels like okay I at least accomplished something physical and small for the day like I was definitely feeling the hamstring stretch for a minute there but yeah so most of our Hawaii trip is now booked I am I can't wait I'm so excited this is the first holiday we're actually going on together and you figure Mark and I have been together for over two and a half years now and the fact that this is the first holiday we get to take together is huge between COVID and being stuck long distance for two years it's like it's finally happened and I can't wait I'm so so excited I've always wanted to see Hawaii and I don't have a ton of places that I want to see like I'm just really excited to have a chill relaxed beach vacation check out some of the local sites try a bunch of local food relax on the beach for a while it'll be so nice I was hoping that I could get a decent waterproof camera so that way I could get some good water footage but it doesn't look like that's going to happen you guys I'm sorry I was looking at one of the GoPro heroes and they're like six seven hundred dollars which I'm like I don't want to drop that much money right before we go to Hawaii. Like this was kind of sort of in a way more of an impulse trip because we were looking at going in October, but the weather is not great in October. Like it's still pretty good, but you're coming off the tail end of hurricane season. And since we don't know what it's going to be like, we figured, okay, we'll go towards the end of July. We'll go for Mark's birthday. So yeah, I am very, very excited. We're going for a week. We're going to be doing a little bit of island hopping. It's going to be a little chaotic. We're going to the big island first and then to Maui and then finishing in Honolulu. So we have a volcano tour booked in the big island. We need to book a luau for Maui. Of course, like the main big one that they do books out months in advance. So we can't get into that one. But every island has at least a few of them. So I've been looking and found a few. So I'll probably book that, um, if not this week, then probably next week. I'd really rather book it sooner rather than later. But with my surgery coming up on Friday, I want to make sure that everything is going to be calm and easy. I don't want to go crazy and book anything that's going to cost more than like $200 for Hawaii right now. Like all of the main stuff is taken care of. We have that. We have our Pearl Harbor tour. Pearl Harbor tour booked for when we're in Honolulu which was like the one big I guess you could call it attraction that I wanted to see while we were there I want to go to a beach I want to go swimming and I want to see Pearl Harbor and I want to find an American diner 
Like, I want to be able to take Mark to an American diner, but I also miss American diners, you guys. It's not for the food quality. Trust me, a lot of American diners have like pretty middle of the road food, but I miss the coffee. I miss being able to order just, like a stack of pancakes at a diner. Like I just miss the overall diner vibe. Like I grew up right next to Jersey, which is the diner capital of the world. I remember going to diners since I was a little kid. Like I used to go to this place called Athenian in Taconi, which now it's an absolute dump. Like 100% would not recommend avoid at all costs, but like the food now is terrible. It used to be so good when I was a kid though. I think they had different owners at one point. It's probably switched hands a few times. But yeah, I had so many memories of going there when I was a kid. There was Red Robin Diner. I absolutely loved Mayfair Diner. Like, I have so many good diner experiences. So I'm... Okay, I've been ranting about diners for like two minutes now. But I'm really looking forward to that when we go to Hawaii. I can't wait. Like, this is the kind of person I am. I'm so overexcited for this that I've already started packing. We're not leaving for another <laughs> month. We're not leaving for over four weeks, and I already have some things packed and ready to go. I've already tried on outfits. I'm coordinating everything. I am that person who, once you tell me that flights are booked, that hotels are booked, I'm like, okay, I will be packed and ready for this trip in, like, another week. Trust me on this. Like, I have bought anything that I needed. I bought a couple really cute dresses that are going to go really nice in Hawaii. At Pearl Harbor, you can't bring a purse with you, but you can bring a clear bag. So I got a completely clear purse off of Shein. I'll probably get that in the next couple of days. But just something that I could put my phone, my wallet, my ID, all that really basic stuff in. Because, let's face it, most women's clothes don't have pockets, or at least they don't have very deep pockets. So I'm not going to be able to bring this camera in there with me. I don't know if I'm really going to film anything, because it is a very solemn place. But it's very historic, and growing up, one of the major sticking points that they talk about in every American history class is World War II, the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Japan bombed Pearl Harbor and like you hear that so many times growing up that you want to see the memorial. So for me that was a big thing was going and seeing the Pearl Harbor memorial when we're there. Um, Mark really really wanted to see one of the volcanoes up on the big island so we're doing that tour. We wanted to do a luau something that yes it is a little cliche but it is traditional and something that we both really wanted to do so we're going to do that for his birthday and yeah i think a lot of the rest of the trip is just going to be how we feel for the rest of the day so we figured the volcano trip's going to be a whole day honolulu is going to be most of the day like leave the evening free and i booked us reservations at a restaurant a really nice restaurant for our very last night there I asked for the nicest table for two. Hopefully they will be able to accommodate. Hopefully they'll see that note. If not, at least we have reservations and we're getting in somewhere. Because one of the things I keep seeing over and over is everyone saying, book your tours early, book your reservations early, get what you can early because things will book out fast. Don't save it till the very last minute. So I'm trying not to save anything to the last minute. If there's anything we really, really want to see and do, we're trying to book that in now. I also really want to do snorkeling, so if anybody knows any good snorkeling spots around like Honolulu, Waikiki, let me know in the comments down below, or if you know any good ones that are in Maui, because we have the luau that night, but we don't have anything going on during the day that's already planned, and that's Mark's birthday, so if we could do something really, really nice, any cute ideas, let me know in the comments down below. Always happy to hear ideas from you guys, because... I am kind of stumped. I don't want to go overboard and plan too much for that day, but I do want to do like at least one or two things that are a little bit special. The luau will be nice, like it's kind of a nice way to wrap up and end the day, but that doesn't start till I think 4.30 or 5. So let me show you guys. I got a travel camera bag, so I have a camera backpack, which I love. It's waterproof. It's great, but I wanted something that I can carry around sort of in place of a purse, so I'll have my camera some batteries a tripod and whatnot with me along with a spot that'll hold like my phone my wallet this is very lightweight it's sturdy i think it came in a couple of different colors there's two little pouches up here which will be great for batteries 
I do have a little travel SD card that I'm going to be bringing with me, but I think I'm just going to switch the SD card out in the morning because I have the 128 gig cards and they hold a lot. I've never gotten to a point where my card ran out of memory. So I think as long as I change the card out every day, I will be good to go with that. So you can see this is nice and spacious and these are detachable. So these can move around to wherever I need them. I've got a spot for the camera. I could squeeze the tripod in here. And then I've got a nice little slot for my phone and my wallet. So that will be good to go. And it is nice, it's lightweight, it's easy. And it even has a smaller zipper pouch back here. So plenty, plenty of storage for when we're walking around, if we wanna stop and take pictures. But I got that off of Amazon. I will link it down below for you guys. Absolutely love that bag. I can't wait to use it. So I did just get a delivery from Amazon as I was in the middle of filming this little thing. And I am really, really excited by this. So it's the little things, you guys. It's the little things, you guys. This is a little battery slash SD card case. So here I've got two little spots below for camera batteries. It's kind of tough to see because it's black on black. There we go, that kind of works. But then there are six slots here for SD cards. And this is a nice, tiny little compact travel case, nice and secure. I'm definitely gonna need to bring more than two or three batteries with me, but this is good for when we're out and about. It's something that will be nice and secure. I might be able to get away with three batteries. What do you guys think? Three? Should I bring them all? I think I could get away with three every day as long as I remember to charge them. I also, I think this is probably like the fifth of these I've gone through in the last couple of years. I got another selfie tripod stick for my smartphone. So, whoa, something just fell. A little charger cord. Make sure I keep that with me. But when I came over to Australia in 2019, I made sure to get a little selfie stick tripod so that way if there's nobody around and you want to get pictures or if you want to take a ton of pictures and don't want to have to bother somebody asking them to take like 10-15 minutes of their own time out to take a bunch of pictures for you you have this little guy with you I'm really excited where did I put it so we just got a new phone I just got a new Samsung Galaxy S22 the picture quality has been great the video quality is really really good as well so I'm so glad to be getting rid of that old, like, two and a half year old phone that I have. So I'm going to be getting a bunch of really good pictures, hopefully a bunch of really good video for you guys when I'm there. And one of the things that I wanted to make sure we had was not so much the selfie stick, like that'll come in handy, but the tripod with Bluetooth. So you can put your phone in here and just kind of set it along the ground somewhere. There we go. So it does move up and down. It takes a little bit of effort to get it to go all the way down, but just set it on the ground somewhere. And then it has this little Bluetooth, little clippy thing, um, remote. That's the word I'm looking for. So you Bluetooth this little remote to your phone and from farther away distances, you just click it. It takes the picture. You don't have to be taking a video and then grab a still from the video, which might be a little bit blurry or not as crisp and clear. So I'm really, really excited. My old tripod, it still works, but it's very flimsy, like the little part that goes up and down now. It's losing that grip, so it doesn't quite stay up that much. Plus, it's not a selfie stick. So even though I don't plan on using the selfie stick too much, you never know. I'd rather have it and not need it than want it and not have it. And both of these will fit nicely and neatly into my little Amazon there we go so I've also got room in the middle plenty of room for my phone for a wallet plus this little zipper pouch in the back on top of that I got two things of sunscreen from Amazon because I know it can be really really pricey in Hawaii especially the tourist destinations and Hawaii you must use mineral sunscreen which I'm so so glad they have that rule it's so much better for the environment so these are both reef safe mineral sunscreens that I picked up off of Amazon. I've never used either of them before, so I'm not going to like recommend them or anything just yet. I have one specifically for my face. So I'm hoping that this is going to be a little bit easier on my skin. I have really sensitive skin. I'm really prone to acne. I'm wearing makeup now because I was filming a couple videos earlier, but if you guys have seen any of like my other videos or vlogs where I'm not wearing it, you can see I have really bad rosacea. 
I am very acne prone. I have very oily skin. So hopefully this will be okay for me to use. If after a day or two it's not, it's just not working, I can go to a place in Hawaii and get another one. And we can just use this as regular sunscreen. It's not like you can only use this on your face. But I wanted to get something that was going to be a little bit more gentle and hope this will work. And then this is just a regular natural zinc sunscreen for us to use every day to take down to the beach when we go. As much as I would love to actually get a tan, I am just a naturally very, very pale person. I turn into a red cooked lobster whenever I go to the beach. So I can try to get a tan, but I don't think it's going to stick around very much if that's the case. I'm somebody who burns before they tan, and even then I might burn like two or three times before I actually start to tan if I go to a beach. So sunscreen is a must. And this last little thing I got, so I don't want to pack a ton of makeup or anything. On top of that, Mark kind of just likes the way I look naturally because he's sweet like that. But I wanted a couple little things that are going to be easy to pack, something that's still very natural and neutral. I'm not going to be doing a lot of like big, bold, red, pinup style lipstick looks or anything like that when I'm over there. I need the cat. So I got this very natural, nudie pink shade. Sorry this camera is like so red. I hope it doesn't show up that red on there. But super natural looking color. It's showing up really orange on here. But it is a really natural looking lip color. Just a slightly tinted darker pink. So something that I'll be able to carry around with me. Lip pencils, they tend to stick around a little bit longer than traditional lipsticks liquid lipsticks can be a little bit more drying and I don't want anything that's going to be super bold, super dramatic. So I think that this is going to look nice. This is something that will be easy to keep around and this is probably something that I'll be able to use pretty regularly after Hawaii as well. Just something for a little bit more of a natural look. Like I used to be somebody who would go to work all the time and I had like an easy five minute makeup routine which is pretty similar to what this looks except I always had red lips. Like I have a signature red lip color which I have linked down below for you guys. It's the KVD Vegan Beauty Liquid Lipstick in Nosferatu. Absolutely love that color. It's like a blood red without it being too dark. It's not fire engine red. Absolutely love it. That is like my signature red lip color. I've been wearing it for years and years and years. Absolutely love it. It is Hawaii. It is a little bit more natural. So I'm going for a few more natural looks when I'm over there. I'm not going to be going heavy handed with the makeup every day. Probably just a little bit of CC cream on top of my sunscreen and then maybe a little bit of tinted lip gloss, lip balm, something like that. That's one thing I've noticed about living here in Australia is that typically, unless you're somebody who's on social media a lot, uh, overall a lot of people just prefer a more natural look, a more casual laid back look. And people always laugh and say, oh, well, yeah, natural look, like natural looking makeup still takes like 45 minutes to do just because it looks like it might be natural because it's in new natural colors doesn't necessarily mean it's natural. It still takes a long time to look that way. But I feel like overall there is more of an appreciation for people who go natural for who don't wear makeup and whatnot. Like I've never been on a Zoom call here and people say that I look tired or I look like I'm sick or I look like I'm upset or something like that. Whereas I'd had that happen a couple times over in the States where I would be on Zoom calls with people and they'd say, oh, you look like you're a little bit tired. You, you look like you're not feeling well. Are you coming down with something? Nope, I'm just not wearing makeup. So I stopped at 7-Eleven and grabbed my coffee. I typically just get a latte. So is it normal for the owners of 7-Elevens to be really stingy and hide the cocoa powder behind the counter? Because the one in our 7-Eleven does that all the time. Like he never leaves it out, but every other 7-Eleven I've gone to with Mark, more so when I'm like driving around in the truck with him, going around Sydney and whatnot, they always have the cocoa powder out. For some reason here, it's like they're afraid, is somebody going to steal it or something? Like cocoa powder's still fairly reasonably priced. I don't think they need to hide the shaker behind the counter, but whatever it is what it is. Nice and sweet cream and sugar. That is how I always take my coffee. I need sweet coffee. I can leave, leave. I can live without cream in my coffee, but I need sugar. I need to drink sweet coffee. I also grabbed these. I've never had like the pre-made 7-Eleven treats like this. So I figured why not do like a super mini little 7-Eleven taste test. 
I could probably do like a full-blown 7-Eleven like pre-packaged taste test. If you guys want to see that, let me know down below in the comments. I keep saying that I love making Australian food videos for you guys. Like that is one of my favorite videos to film anything that's relating to food in Australia because we don't have lemon slices and orange and poppy seed muffins at 7-Elevens over in the States. But I love all things citrus, so let's see how this little 7-Eleven lemon slice goes, if I could actually get the packaging open. The packaging just doesn't want to open for me today, guys. There we go. It gets a really strong lemon smell as soon as you open it up, which is nice. It is so dry. The taste is okay. It's not like a lot of lemon flavor to it. It's just weirdly sweet and sour with some crunchy coconut flakes on top. I'm not a huge fan of that one. So, One of the funny things you'll notice if you ever go over to the States is that we don't have orange and poppy seed muffins. We have lemon and poppy seed. The orange and poppy seed is not a popular or at least common combination over in the States. But you will see lemon and poppy seed a lot. Oh, it smells good. So, again, a little bit of story time. Um, when I was in college, in uni, over in the States, I would go through two different trains to get to my college in the morning. So I'd take the train from my house into Center City, which is like the version of the CBD over in Philly. And then I'd take another train from there all the way up to Chestnut Hill, which is where my college was. So I had a little bit of a wait. It might have been like a 20-minute, half-an-hour wait, typically. So when my train pulled in, I'd go over to Saxby's and pick up a lemon poppy seed muffin. That was one of my favorite breakfasts when I was in college. And I know there's no way this is going to compare to that at all, but I am curious what the orange poppy seed muffins taste like. Good old oil and preservatives. I swear you guys, living in Australia has spoiled me because I can almost, like you could taste the preservatives in a lot of food over here. It's not that common to have a lot of packaged food over here compared to the States. I feel like it's probably becoming a little bit more common, but that seems to be a global phenomenon. It's just an Australia or an America thing. But I could taste a lot of the preservatives in these pre-packaged sort of desserts. Whereas over in the States, I couldn't i wonder if i could now like going back there i might see if we could find a couple little sweets when we're in hawaii and either bring those back here or try some when we're over there but growing up i didn't taste any of the preservatives or anything like that in these kinds of snacks but over here like it's just cloying like there's this oily slickness that is still in my mouth from that muffin so yeah after doing a nice long healthy little stretch i have gotten a couple of very very sweet things from 7-eleven i'm not too crazy about either of them i don't know if doing a taste test for all of those like pre-packaged treats that you get around the coffee bar at 7-eleven is um a food video i'd really enjoy filming now that i've done this but you know what if you guys want to see it let me know i will do it for you guys I will take that very, very sweet preservative filled bullet and film that. So one last little thing I wanted to say about Hawaii, you guys. So I am obviously not turning to like a travel channel, a Hawaii channel, nothing like that. Mondays, I'm still going to be doing the American and Australian content. I love filming that. That is the base of my channel. That is what I love doing for you guys. But when Hawaii comes up, I'm probably going to be doing a few videos and vlogs on Thursdays. I might do a vlog, like the typical pack with me vlog, so you can see what I'm bringing to Hawaii. We'll do a couple vlogs and videos and whatnot while we're there. Maybe some like tips if you're coming over. And when we come back and overall what we thought, maybe some culture shocks because I feel like even going from Philly to Hawaii, there's going to be a lot of culture shocks because I've heard it said that the U.S. is really like 50 little countries and it does feel like that. So seeing what's going to be like 
living in Philly, moving to Australia, going to Hawaii and coming back to Australia. It's going to be really interesting to see what the differences were between all three areas. So yeah, be prepared. There will be some post Hawaii content, but I promise America and Australia will always be the base of this channel. So Mondays expect the American and Australian content. So that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you liked the vlog. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button down below to join, please. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.